Hello, Mount Holyoke Psychology 201 students. Welcome to your pre-work tutorial on correlation. This is your lab instructor, Natasha. So I'm interested in the correlation of the amount of hashtags posted on photos on Instagram and the amount of likes on these photos. So I gathered a group of 10 students and asked them to send me data on the amount of hashtags they used on their past 20 Instagram posts and how many likes they received on their past 20 Instagram posts. So here's their data. In this first variable, this is the hashtags, and this is the amount of hashtags they used in the past 20 posts, and this is the amount of likes they received on the past 20 posts. So if we're looking at correlations, one of the first things we might want to do is to create a scatter plot to just get a visual image of the data. So to do this, we would go to graphs, down to legacy dialogues, and over to scatter slash dot. Already clicked is the simple scatter, that's what we want, so we'll hit define. It doesn't matter for correlation which variable goes on which axis, so I'll just move hashtags over to the y axis and likes over to the x axis. The button on the right that's called titles, we'll want to click that to give it a title. We can call it something simple like correlation of hashtags and likes. And we'll click continue and okay. Here comes our output window and here's what our scatter plot looks like. You'll see on the x-axis is the likes and it ranges from zero to 800 and the scale on the hashtags is from zero to 60. Actually, it's a little bit above 60 as you can see. All right, so just Taking a little glance at this, you might say that this is a moderately strong positive correlation, right? Because it goes from the bottom left and trends upwards to the upper right. And, um, but be, you know, before saying more about this, we'd probably want to also run a Pearson's R. So we can go back into our data set and click Analyze go down to correlate, and over to bivariate. The two variables that we're interested in dis, uh, figuring out the correlation between our, our hashtags and likes, so we'll bring those over. It's already going to click Pearson, which is what we want, and um, two-tailed is already clicked, so we'll leave that. We'll also leave flag significant correlations on. So now we'll hit OK. Now on the output, you'll see that this is the correlations table. And it tells us that our Pearson's R, which is right here, is 0.79. So you can say that that is a strong positive correlation. So um, also, by looking at the SIG two-tailed column, this tells us that the p-value of 0 0.007 is below 0 0.05, which means that it's a significantly, a significant correlation. So to interpret this, you could say, because it's strong, um, that there's a strong likelihood that the more hashtags you have, um, because it's a positive direction, the more likes you'll have, and vice versa, um, the less hashtags you have, the less likes you'll have. If you have an average amount of hashtags, you'll have an average amount of likes. Now, would I be able to tell people based on my results that adding more hashtags to their Instagram posts will give them more likes? No, because correlation does not imply causation. So maybe those students who had, who used more hashtags just have more followers on Instagram, or maybe their posts were of super cute baby animals, so the hashtags really didn't even play into the amount of likes, or maybe something else is going on. But we do know based on these results that there is a strong positive correlation between hashtags and likes with a small sample of students. So until next time, remember, don't be mean, be above average.